A powerful feature that has been enabled on the LAUSD Moodle server is the ability to import questions from ExamView. ExamView is a very powerful program you probably have at your school site. Um, most of the publishers include ExamView assessments with, uh, with their textbooks. Uh, this is an example of a, um, a Glencoe uh, version of ExamView in Question Bank, and here's one from Prentice Hall for Biology. If you look through your book room, you might actually find that you have uh, the exam view already on campus and you're licensed to use it if you're using the textbook with your class. Now, let's take a look at how we can import those questions into Moodle to expand the use of ex exam view to your online course. I'm now looking at uh, just start up exam view. I'm looking at the opening screen. And there are a couple different ways we can go. Uh, one is I can create a new test using uh, the exam view test wizard. Um, and uh, that works really well and it probably would be a video in itself. Uh, the other one I like to use is just opening a question bank and taking the entire bank and importing it into Moodle. So I'm going to select that. And I'm going to look through the different series that I have, and I'm going to choose my Prentice Hall Geometry. Let's see here, open that. And then I'm going to choose the English version of it. And now I'm just going to take a chapter of question, a question banks from Chapter 7. So I'll select Chapter 7, say Open. And it's going to inform me that there is a Spanish version of the same uh, bank of questions. Say OK. Now what I'm looking at is uh, just a list of the questions with, uh, you know, like answer data. Uh, many times it will give me a, 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 a standard it aligns to. This is because this is a chapter test. They don't give us a lot of other data except the chapter. And uh, here we have standards for the different types of questions. And right now I'm looking at a group of 61 multiple choice questions. And here at the bottom I have two essay style questions and I have two questions designated as other. Let me move up here so you can see that. And this is an example of an other. Um, the other questions tend to be imported as essay questions using the translator we have on our Moodle server. This is a very nice uh, printout. This is a, the 19 pages, but what this shows you is all the questions in nice form. And many times I like to just go up to file and print uh, and just print, the, print them out so I can have a copy of, of the questions. Uh, I also, if I'm on a Mac, it's very easy to print the PDF by saying save as PDF. And then I can include it as an electronic copy outside of exam view. I'm going to cancel that and move on. What I really want to do is find out how I can export this so I can use it in Moodle. I'm going to go to File on the Exam View menu bar. And I'm going to choose Export. And what I need to do is I need to export to Blackboard, which is the competitor to Moodle, a commercial uh, program uh, that is used for learning management by many colleges. And Exam View has written an export to Blackboard 6.0 through 7.0. And we have a translator that reads Blackboard exports from, from 6.0. So I'm going to choose that and I'm going to give it a name. Now I'm going to just going to name this, this, this uh, file sample and I'm going to put it on my desktop. Now this, is, this screen is actually primarily for Blackboard. And I, I'm gonna, I need to write something here. I'm actually going to put in the name and the directory name. I'm going to put the same name I put in for the, uh, the uh, file name. But I don't need to put anything else here. I can put all X's here because Moodle does not use this. There is one thing, though, that we could use in Moodle. And it says feedback. It says use exam view rationale or use exam view feedback. You might want to choose this. It gives you more flexibility because if I choose exam view feedback, it will give me the standard feedbacks which are incorrect on incorrect answers and correct on correct answers. And if I'm giving a test where I want to give immediate feedback to students, that information will be in Moodle so I can use it. 
Many times you will find you're not going to use it, but it's good to have it. So if you change this to exam view feedback, you get at least a little more information. Now I'm going to select OK. Okay, now, now the file has been saved to my desktop and it's an export file that um, I'm going to use in Moodle. So now I'm, I'm finished with exam view. I'm going to get rid of exam view and I'm going to pull up my Moodle now. And now I'm looking at my uh, secondary template shell. And what I want to do is go down to the administration block and I'm looking for questions. Click on questions. Now I need to, I'm going to import these questions, but I want to have a place to put them. So I'm going to go to categories. And right now we're just going to add a category to put them in. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom on the category screen. And I want to create a category that is, since I am exporting chapter seven questions, I'm going to create a category called chapter seven. Now, if you look here, it says parent, it tells you which category chapter seven is going to be a subcategory to, and this is the main course category. And so that'll be right underneath it. And I'll say add a category. As you can see, here's my default category for the course. I have a category chapter seven. And if I was going to do this for the whole course, I'd probably have a chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and as many chapters in the book, all these categories to put questions in. Now I have a place to put the questions I exported. I'm going to go up to the top of the screen. You'll see a tab called import. You click on import. And then we're going to make some decisions. Now these are a bunch of different types of importing translators that are in our LAUSD Moodle server. If you choose exam view Blackboard 6.x is the one we want to use for what we're doing. So we select that. Now it says, where do you want to put it? Well, since I only have one category I just made, it's going to say chapter seven, but I would usually just open the pull down menu and, and select where I want this to go. Since this is an export file from exam view and not from another Moodle file, there is no category in this file. I'm going to deselect that. I don't want uh, it to get its category from the export file. It says match grades, error if grades not listed, I'll leave that, it doesn't matter. Stop on error, yes. If there's a problem with the file, I don't want to import the questions. I want it to error out and stop. Uh, so, and so I'll say yes. Now, right here I have two choices. I can, import a I can import a file that's already in the files folder or I can imp import a file uplo upload. I want to upload it from my desktop. So I'm gonna browse and use this one. And there is on my desktop the sample file. Open that. There's the link, there's the, uh, the pathway to the sample file on my computer. I'm going to choose upload this file. Now what happens is it's going to go through showing you exactly what questions and how they're imported in. Now the nice thing is, these, as you look here, these are actually pictures because we can't write these in normal text and these are actually coming in correctly. And that was a problem in the older uh, importing, but now with math being the hardest ones to import, we can now get even the graphics. As you notice right here, we have the drawings coming in for the questions. And I got 65 questions, so I'm gonna quickly scroll to the bottom. And at the very bottom, you're gonna see a lot of you know, data that just basically says what, what it did with things, things it was ignoring, there's quite a lot. And then I'm gonna hit continue. Now I have, I'm looking at the question banks. They're the questions right here. It says show the category it has 65 questions. I'm gonna uncheck this because it can get confusing when I have subcategories. It starts to show all the subcategory questions. It might get confusing. I tend to turn this off so I know what I'm looking at. So I'm looking at just category uh, chapter seven. And now I have four pages of questions listed here. What I want to do for my purposes is I'm just going to show all 65, which means give them all to me on one screen. And now I can see all the questions that have been imported. The nice thing is, is a few things I can do to check my questions. One, if I look over on the far right hand side, you'll see different symbols. 
these, this empty box here designates a essay question. And then you see the, the three, the dots with three lines. That's a multiple choice question. If I had a true false, you'd see two dots and so on with different types of questions. Moodle will actually show you question types. Now, if I want to take a look at a question, I can go look at preview and let's see, I'll take a multiple choice question here and I'll preview and I can see what the question will look like. There's a picture or a preview of the question. And let's see here, I'm going to go back and just uh, close that window. I also want to show you a couple problems you may have and you might want to look. Not all essay questions, especially with mathematics, are appropriate in Moodle because they tend to say show your work or draw pictures, which of course is almost impossible to do in a, in a Moodle format, uh, online format. So I can take a look in preview and see the question to see if it's something I can use. And this says explain how you would decide the size of the campus if you want it to be the shape of a golden rectangle. And of course, I can describe that right here. So that's what the student would see. That's probably okay. So I'll close that. But let's take a look at uh, right here. I'm going to look at write a proof. And let me wait for that. And this is a very nice question, write a proof. It gives you the, uh, the given and then, the, and then the prove, what to prove. But the problem is I probably would need to be able to write special symbols and things that wouldn't be appropriate here. I you know, may not be able to use this question. If you determine you, don't, you can't use the question, for instance, let's say this question doesn't work, I can actually just click on the X and delete the question and now the question's gone, so I, you know, just in quick evaluation of my files. Uh, we've now covered just how to get the questions from exam view into Moodle. Uh, in following uh, video, we're going to show you how to organize the questions and eventually how to write a quiz using the question banks from exam view.